Good morning, everyone. I thought I would bring you along today just for kind of a day in the life of video. I haven't done one of these in many years, and I don't know, it just, it requires a little bit of extra work to go about your morning, and I just haven't, I don't know, making coffee is it really that interesting, but this is a huge part of my morning ritual, and so maybe I've belabored it <laughs> by having so much footage of me just making coffee, but yeah, like I said, it's a huge part of my morning ritual, and here we go, so making a cup of coffee. The dogs were hungry and excited to be fed. Can you see how much Fig is drooling right now? <laughs> it's ridiculous! And then always I have to make sure that Bean doesn't take any of the kibble. Luckily Fig is super patient with him and would just let Bean eat out of the bowl with him. Dot not so much but Bean doesn't go to her bowl. <laughs> he understands. And then second to preparing my coffee, my favorite morning ritual is to write. Whether it's by hand in a notebook or via the typewriter. Lately I've been journaling primarily in my typewriter. I have sort of neglected my handwritten journal as of late and have just been enjoying typing. I get asked all the time, what do you write about? And I feel like my answer is really uninteresting, but it's basically just stream of conscious. Whatever comes to mind, I write about. I have written short stories in the past, occasionally poetry, but mostly it's pretty mundane stream of conscious. Bless you. <laughs> Would you come to my? I love my office space. And yes, Dot is licking the carpet. <laughs> Who knows why? Yesterday, I spent a good deal of time cleaning and reorganizing and rearranging my office once again. I just, I enjoy doing it. It gives a fresh perspective and it re-inspires and reinvigorates the space. And it also evolves with me, so what my needs are and how I use the space. And every time I think, this is, this is it, this is where it will stay forever. Today is a pretty low-key Sunday. I decided to finish up the book that I've been reading called Captain Blood and I must admit I have grown very fond of, of Captain Blood. I'd like to watch the movie next. I think the movie was made in nineteen in the 1930s with Errol Flynn who is a very famous actor. I'll be doing a lot of chores today, including the not so glamorous dog poop pickup. <laughs> 
It's so windy this morning. It's been windy these last couple of days. It feels very much like summer has arrived at an end and fall must be so near. It will probably be about another two months until it cools off for us here in the desert. But the lighting has changed. The air has dried out. The rains seem to have stopped. I think fall is here. So Brian is out of town this weekend for a work trip. And of course I miss him and I can't wait for his return. But one of the things that I like to do while he's away is do like a very deep clean of the house. Cause I feel like it would be so nice to come home after a long work trip to a really clean house. So it's just, and it's just fun. And then I, he's, he doesn't have to like sit in a house while I'm vacuuming and moving around him. Uh, so, so today is a day of chores. Get some dishes done, do some vacuuming, do some dusting. Oh man, and I can't, <laughs> I can't stop thinking about fall. I am just, oh man, I am so excited. I think my body has reached the maximum capacity to process the heat. I just feel so tired of being hot all the time all the time even in an air-conditioned house we don't cool it very much because it's already like a 250 dollar monthly bill so it's just hot <laughs> and this is an old house it's not very well insulated so yeah fall fall is on the brain. My brain has already converted. It's fall. I'm just waiting, counting down the days until it's cool. Oh man, it's going to feel so good. Another reason why I love fall so much is I feel like I can finally start dressing up again. I really love dressing up and I love wearing some of my vintage clothes and boots and rings and I don't know, jackets, sweaters. But in the summer, it just feels too hot to be bothered to dress up. I'm just gonna get sweaty and disgusting and clothes feel awful on the body when it's so hot out. Why put in the time? So I tend to just wear like shorts and t-shirts and sandals all summer long and not really care about how I'm dressing. And then fall starts to hint of its arrival or incoming arrival and I get so excited. I reorganized my closet today. I pulled out all of my flannels and wool t-shirts and sweaters and vintage dresses. <laughs> and while it is still a long way off, a girl can dream, right? So we have this beautiful monstera that has spider mites. And I've treated spider mites before. Basically, I just spray on a water and soap solution. This is Dr. Bronner's peppermint soap. I spray it all over the plant and then let it sit for a little while. And then I'll go back, rinse it, and wipe off every leaf.
Even Fig is ready for fall. He, he's not, he doesn't do well with the heat. It's so funny, I, I actually adopted a Greyhound with the hopes that I would have a dog more well adapted to the heat. Uh, but alas, Fig is a cold climate dog, 100%. As am I, we live in the wrong place entirely. <laughs> I tend to be a live and let live kind of person. We coexist in our house with spiders and cockroaches and all sorts of other critters and really don't pay them any mind. They, they don't bother us, we don't bother them. But unfortunately, the mites have really taken over this poor plant and I feel like it's, it's starting to do some damage. So it is time to take care of it. And on that note, I think I shall end this video here. I'm going to go trade in some of the books that I don't want anymore and maybe find some new ones. So thank you all for watching as always. I'll see you in the next video.